In this video, I want to share a really quick tip for how I use accessibility settings and Siri shortcuts to automatically launch the Rocketbook scanning app using the back tap feature in iOS. Though this process can be adapted to other applications and shortcuts as well, so feel free to get creative. Since the introduction of iOS 14, the iPhone 8 and more recent devices have had the ability to trigger a variety of quick actions in response to double or triple tapping the back of the phone. Unlocking similar functionality to what's offered by several Android devices through the use of customizable side buttons. Fortunately, you can configure these tap gestures to run any of the shortcuts that you create within the Siri Shortcuts app. So, to get started, you're going to need three applications, shortcuts, settings, and whichever app you want to launch. In this case, not surprisingly, if you're familiar with my channel, I've chosen the Rocketbook app so that I can get even quicker access to my digital notes and the Rocketbook scanner. The first thing you'll want to do is jump into shortcuts. Here you can create a new shortcut that, whenever triggered, will launch the app of your choosing. Simply click on the plus icon in the top right corner. Then select Open Application as the action that you would like to perform. Next, select the app that you want to launch by clicking on the faint blue App Text. Following this, you can rename the shortcut by tapping on the faded Open App Text at the top of the page. In this case, I'll call it Launch Rocketbook. You can also select the icon next to the title to customize it if you wish. Here, I think a teal rocket would be appropriate. Then simply close the shortcut creator and your new shortcut should be saved. Now, you can test your new shortcut by simply clicking on it and it should launch the app that you configured. To trigger this action by tapping the back of your phone, we'll jump into the settings app. Here you should navigate to the accessibility settings select Touch, then scroll to the bottom and click on Back Tap. Here you can see that I've already configured my Double Tap to open the Audible app, so now I'll set up the Triple Tap. Once in the Triple Tap menu, you have the option to trigger several different system settings, things like turning on and off the flashlight, as well as accessibility settings and scroll gestures. But the ones that we're interested in are the shortcuts, which can be found at the very bottom. Here we'll select the shortcut that we just created and exit the settings app. Now simply triple tapping the back of your phone should execute the shortcut and launch the Rocketbook app. Voila! It does take a little bit of practice to form the muscle memory needed to consistently trigger the back tap functionality with a double or triple tap but within a few minutes of practice, I'm confident that you'll be able to master it. And the best part of this feature is that it even works if you have another application open or if you're on the lock screen. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you can launch your favorite go-to app just a little quicker. And that's it. If you've come up with a creative way of using the back tap feature in iOS or know of another neat productivity hack that you wanna share, please let me know using the comments below Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.